Cheers. What's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. So today, I uh, just want to make this quick little video. I was uh, using my 3D printer and I was looking for something to, uh, to print. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go just get on Thingiverse and, uh, and see what I can print. So what did I do? I found a really cool, useful 3D print. So I printed it. So uh, this is what it consists of. Uh, these components right here. This is all of it. And uh, of course this piece, which I could take off. All right, so these are the, the pieces. It's hard to get back on. This piece has a little notch in it so that it actually um, fits back onto the bracket. This is one of those uh, little handy helper jobbies, and this is designed to attach to it. So this is the base component, and I'm going to attempt to get this back on here. I'd use a pair of pliers earlier to hold it and turn it. Yeah, we'll get it on there. There we go. Fair enough. It's just got to be there for presentation for you guys. So, um, these little arms and these little attachments right here. There's an angle inside of this. And these are also angled just a little bit. And these slip in here. So when they slip in here, they're, they're now square. So what it does is it causes uh, uh, this sliding action causes it to move in and out. So these slide on here. And here's what the arms look like. They do have a slot in them. All right, they have a slot all the way down them. A little tab on the back is probably just to help you hold it. So we'll put this arm in here. All right, and now when you squeeze this, it locks the arm. Okay, this one's still free. So if I squeeze this, it locks the arm. They stay in place. And what this is actually for is holding your circuit boards. So, clamp this in here, squeeze the left side, squeeze the right side, and now your circuit board is being held in place. So I can, uh, I can flip this over and I can solder, you know, put my solder in there and, and flip it back over and put my components in and hold it sideways and work on both sides. So, I just had to show you that. I thought that was a pretty cool 3D print. I was looking for it to print an actual vise so that I could hold things on my bench. Uh, just small stuff. A plastic vise to use for small objects that I want to hold. Got to looking for a vise and I saw a printed circuit board vise. And I thought, that's pretty cool. So there was one you could 3D print the entire thing. And then I kept on looking and I found this one which uh, you can actually just mount right onto your uh, original handyman base. These are like five bucks or less, the bases. And the 3D print probably cost about 25 cents. Um, and now I've got myself a full functional printed circuit board holder. The Google SketchUp file did come with all the components, so I'm going to extend this and make a bigger one so I can hold a really big board. But honestly, a big board it may not even hold in here. If I put all these components to one side, it kind of falls. So I may need to just attach some magnets to it, stick it to a big block of steel. Either way, I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought I'd show you. So I did uh, film the whole thing on time lapse uh, on the live recording. I do do live recordings of 3D prints quite often, so be sure to just randomly check in uh, on the JTV during the standard weekdays between 7 and 3 post central time. Usually I'm record uh, live streaming something. Um, some of that may be boring to you all, but it's pretty cool. I am usually in the chat, so I will chat with you, though. That is really neat. Um, I do not know the actual person who created this file, but I do give him credit, and it will be in the description. You can download the 3D print for yourself. I'm actually going to just link it to Thingiverse, which is where I got it. Open source, baby. All right, enjoy the time-lapse video. God bless you guys. Have a good week. See ya.